Athletes love to win, but great athletes hate to lose even more than they love to win. When there's failure that happens, there's an opportunity to be more successful because of what you learn when you get knocked down and how you get up and dust yourself off and move forward. Being from the Philadelphia area means that you love sports. I was raised in it, and that's how I was born and bred. When I was a little kid, I got to put on my helmet for the first time. And when you finally strap on your chin strap, that's when I felt like a football player. I was just drawn to it, I was pulled to it. I think it had to do with the competition, and it had to do with the camaraderie. It has the most team environment, I think, in comparison to any other sport that's out there. And that's what really pulled me to football. First, I just wanted to be a part of the team. And then once I got on the team, I really wanted to end up being the best one. My first goal was to get a scholarship to play college football. So I worked extremely hard at focusing on that. I ended up having over 25 full ride scholarships. To have a huge shoebox just full of letters and letters and letters coming through was pretty humbling, uh, to say the least. Going to Vanderbilt, I knew very quickly that I wasn't the biggest guy, I wasn't the fastest guy, I wasn't the strongest guy. But I knew one thing about myself is that I was never going to quit playing college football at Vanderbilt in the SEC against the toughest competition. It's almost surreal to have that opportunity. When I was a captain, I really started to realize one of the greatest things about football is that you cannot be successful without the person next to you being successful. I love my time at Vanderbilt. We had some great victories. We had some very tough losses. The greatest thing was being able to bring a bowl of victory for the first time in 53 years. Fortunately, I was lucky enough to play professional football. I was with the Jaguars for two years. Amazing time, great people. I learned a ton about the business aspect of playing professional sports and what it takes to be a pro. And then it was over very quickly. I woke up one day after training and I couldn't move my neck and I couldn't raise my right arm. I called my girlfriend at the time, who is now my wife, and she rushed me to the ER and I found out from doctors that I had a severe neck injury and I can no longer play football. And at that moment, I went in my car by myself and I cried my eyes out. And the opportunity to play football was gone. And what I told myself is that you have to move forward. Football doesn't define who you are and that there's more to me than just shoulder pads and a helmet. Most people, when they move forward after college, they have no idea what they want to do. And that's kind of where I was. I remember going online and I found this home remodeling company. I found power. I went in for an interview and I was blown away with the people. I accepted a position at an entry level sales role in our inside sales division. And I knew within a matter of two weeks that I wanted to work nowhere else for the rest of my life. One of the most special things about power is that every single person, they more than just matter. If you are at an entry level position and you just started and you're in your first week, or if you've been here for 15 years, it does not matter. You can end up changing what we do in an even better way. Whether you're in a professional environment or you're in a sports environment, what's most important is your effort and your attitude every single day. Whether you lost the game or won the game, can you ask yourself, did you give it everything you had? Transitioning into the professional world for me seemed very easy. In reality, it was only less difficult because of power. Because I was surrounded by people that believed in camaraderie, that cared about each other, that gave amazing training. And that's the experience that I've had growing up and throughout my entire sports career. So when I walked through the doors of power, I just joined a different team and wore different colors. I work at power because everything that enabled me to become a great athlete is why I'm successful here. 